Hey guys! As many of you know, I make a huge effort to keep a very consistent sleeping schedule and because of that I've become a huge morning person. There are tons of benefits to being a morning person and starting your day earlier, like you have just so much more time to be productive and to get as much done as you can and you can really relax in the afternoon and evening and I find that um, I basically do this by not procrastinating during the day. If you guys want to know how I do that, you can check out my how to avoid procrastination video. And then from there on, I prepare my morning at night. So the most obvious tip for someone who's going to become a morning person is to go to sleep earlier. I try to get at least seven to eight hours of sleep. This differs per person, but that's just what works best for me. So I first put on a diffuser when I'm ready to start getting into my night routine and I love to use this like lavender essential oil because it's really really calming and puts me at peace. Um, I also use the website Sleepy Time. It's a free bedtime calculator and you can calculate the time you should go to sleep based on when you want to wake up or you can calculate the time you want to wake up based on when the time is at that current time. I find that's just great for planning. You can really decide, oh, is it better for me to wake up at 7 a.m. or 8 a.m.? And I find that website works great for me. And after that, when I'm ready to go to sleep, I love the app Sleep Cycle Alarm. I have it on my phone. It is amazing. You have a, um, a range of time that you can wake up to. You can adjust that time, but it for me, I have like a half hour time frame, and it basically tracks your sleep pattern, and it wakes you up at the most optimal time at your like lightest stage of sleep within the time parameters that you set on the app. And I find that using it, I'm really more like well informed about my sleeping patterns. I can track my stats. I can see like trends over weeks and months of using the app. And I find that it just works so well for me. I highly recommend it for anyone who really wants to get better about sleeping habits. And after I do that, I also, leave my blinds up and my curtains drawn um, before I go to sleep and so in the morning like sunlight will stream through my uh, windows and I find that that's just also a really great way to like naturally wake up so you start getting into the habit of it and you don't have to rely as much as on alarms and I also make sure I set a time every night where I tell myself I am no longer allowed to use my laptop or my phone. We have all been there where it's like 1130 or something and you're like think you should go to bed but then you start watching a YouTube video or we'll start watching Netflix and all of a sudden it's like 3 a.m. and you know you should have gone to bed at 1130. So I definitely set times to get rid of those devices and I find that just really helps to go to sleep earlier. So another thing I would tell you guys to do if you want to be a morning person is to set up a little like morning routine for yourself. This is just to make you look forward to the next day and maybe give you a little incentive to wake up earlier. It doesn't have to be anything like super elaborate or anything like um, for me, I when I wake up, I draw my curtains to let all of the sunlight stream through my window completely, and then I drink a huge like ice cold glass of water. I find that's a very instantaneous way to keep myself awake instead of relying on caffeine, which takes like maybe 20 to 30 minutes to really kick into your system, where ice cold water is really really like jolts you awake. And then I stretch out a little bit, and after that, I go to my planner and I plan out my day. As you guys know, I love planning. I adore my Hobonichi and I find that starting out my day with planning and prioritizing and deciding what I need to get done that day is really, really great for me to start out with because it makes me feel like I'm being productive, but I'm also having fun just decorating my page and really just waking up and enjoying the quiet morning. And so, you know, just having a little routine that includes a really like healthy breakfast that you can look forward to will definitely help you become a morning person. So once you are up nice and early in the morning, your objective is to not go back to sleep until you go to bed that night. And I know this is really hard, especially for some people who aren't necessarily used to waking up early. So some things that would help is to definitely not hit the snooze button. It's so easy to hit it a couple times and all of a sudden sleep and then it's like 11 a.m. 
um, but try to avoid hitting the snooze button. And as soon as you wake up, uh, turn on the lights or open your curtains or whatever, just let light into the room and that will make you less likely to fall asleep. And also try to make your bed that will, you know, again, prevent you from going back in and cuddle up in your covers and go to bed again. And it's also a good idea to maybe get dressed as soon as you can in the morning because that will just kind of get you into the mindset of starting your day and not just lazing around in your pajamas. I find that all of those things really help me stay awake, especially in the summer. I mean, if you guys have seen my summer study routine video, then you know that I truly do wake up early, plan my day, and then just get started with everything I need to get done. I find that's just super efficient and good luck to anyone who wants to become a morning person. Let me know in the comments what time you guys wake up because I'm actually kind of curious and I hope you guys have a great one. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can add me on Snapchat and follow me on my Instagram and Tumblr account. Bye guys!